Hey guys. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I do a quick, uh, what do you call, a uh, screen freeze. So when people are scrolling through um, their news feed, I'm not looking weird. But hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for ho hopping on. If you are watching this on a replay, do me a quick favor and type in hashtag replay. My name is Leticia Campbell, and I'm actually your number one email marketing strategist, CEO and founder of the Campbell Success Network, and the creator of my Emailpreneur Tribe at emailpreneurtribe.com. And that is where I teach, train, mentor, and motivate my clients on how to grow and scale their businesses ethically and organically, all through leveraging email marketing so I am so excited to be on here what I'm about to do right now is I'm actually going to share this video out to my timeline um, and this video uh, because my team uh, uploads my content onto my YouTube channel and a bunch of other places so if you're watching this on any other channel other than Facebook please know that this was originally uh, recorded and streamed on Facebook first and then we uh, premiere it everywhere else so thank you guys so much for coming on this conversation is absolutely amazing for those of you who are offering courses for those of you who are offering services and for those of you who are offering products like maybe you may be in network marketing uh, direct sales or what have you this particular conversation is absolutely perfect for that so y'all know that Facebook has done a little bit of a change okay when it comes to um, our profiles and things like that so just give me a second y'all I just want to make sure that this video is shared on my um, my Facebook uh, personal profile so that way I can have the people hop on and come on over here so really quickly y'all in the comments let me know how y'all doing how y'all feeling y'all probably gonna see like a little um you're gonna see like you're probably already seeing if you're on the live right now I'm not sure if this shows up on a replay but if you're on the live right now, you're going to actually see a little, uh, like a clip, like a paper clip icon on the bottom of the screen. When you click on that icon, it's going to take you to uh, over to my um, email marketing uh, free training page. I have a training that I did recently, um, and you definitely want to check that out. And you will definitely get an invite, okay? You'll be getting an invite to my... Um, to my upcoming training that's going to be happening this weekend. So you get to watch the training as it is. Hey, Therese! Therese, uh, let me know. Um, if y'all know who Therese is, she's my amazing, lovely assistant. I love her so much. She, her and I have been uh, working together now for, ever since 2017. Uh, Therese, do you see a, a clip, like a paperclip icon on the bottom of the screen? Let me know and let me also know if it actually takes you um, over to um, my email marketing training page, the free training page. So let me know that love, and we're going to jump in and get started. So what I want to talk to you guys about is the eight secrets, okay? I want to talk to you all really quickly about the eight secret benefits of email marketing. I want to talk to you guys about the eight secret benefits of email marketing because we all know that we need to leverage email marketing. If you know that you need to send out more emails, Type in one in the comments right now. If you know that if you sent out maybe 15 more emails this month, right? If you stay consistent with that, do you feel that you'll make more money in your business by the end of this year, right? Type in one if you feel that way, right? So we all know that we need to use and leverage email marketing, but we don't really understand and really recognize the benefits on how long-term benefits, right? Short-term benefits, but I even more importantly love the long-term benefits, of email marketing like you could run your business from anywhere in the world you can run your business no matter what which no matter what platform that your current audience is using come on y'all no matter what platform that your audience is using you can still run your business okay most of us feel like well we only have to show up on a certain platform to communicate and sell to our audience but when you're leveraging email marketing no matter what platform your dreamy customer your dreamy client is on you can still sell to them by far that is so freaking amazing for I see the numbers has gone up so I'm just going to reintroduce myself I am Leticia Campbell and I am your number one email marketing strategist I have been leveraging email marketing since 2016 a lot of y'all say girl you did it the right time I felt I always say I should have did it much earlier right and so I, I started sending out emails to my audience back in 2016 June of 2016 to be exact okay but um what what the big the major benefit that 
th that it has done for me when it comes to email marketing is August of 2017, I left my full-time corporate job. So right there alone is, is proof that, you know, when you're starting to send out emails, right, it's going to really ignite and get you more towards your goals. Right. All right. So Tree said, hold on a second. If they are on their phones, they should see it and the page will come up. It doesn't work on desktop. Okay. But is it coming up? But do you, Teresa, are you on your phone? Just, do you see the, uh, the clipboard icon? So the, the, uh, paper clip icon. So what Teresa is saying was actually is very, very true. Um, so if you're on your mobile device right now and you see the paper clip icon on the bottom of my screen, you're going to click that. So that way you can, uh, sign up to view my list building masterclass training. Okay. You're also going to be invited because you're going to be able to see the pre-recorded training and, and you're also going to get an invite later on this week to attend my live training. So you definitely want to come because of those of you who are struggling with growing your email list, right, or struggling with converting your current email list, you want to do your due diligence and making sure that you register and that you also check out the, um, yeah, it looks like a paper clip. Thank you, Trees. I love you, mama. Uh, you want to make sure that you register for that. So let's jump into this information, y'all. What I want to share with you guys today is the eight secret benefits of email marketing. And we're going to start off with number one. Number one is email marketing is low cost, okay? It's extremely low cost. If you really look at everything else that you spend money on in your business, right, email marketing is probably the most lowest cost bill, right? Whether you're paying for an annual subscription or you're paying a monthly subscription, is lower cost compared to everything else that you're investing in on a year-to-year -year basis or a month-to-month -month basis in your business, right? And here's why that happens, because you are charged according to the size of your traffic, right? So if I come in and I have a 1,000 emails, right, and Therese comes in and she has only 50, I'm actually paying more for my ESP, my email service provider, than Therese is. So as, as your business grows, right, the billing amount, whatever system you're using, the billing amount will change. And now that if you're watching this video like a year from now, things may be a little bit different because even with the system that I'm using, they're adding on new features. They're adding on new things. And so there may be different packages and stuff because now more and more businesses are using sending emails, right? Type in two in the comments real quick for those of you who have been since March of 2020, right? So now. Type in two if you notice that you're getting more emails from marketers. I know I have. You know, I sometimes I get two or three emails a day from the same marketer, right? People are leveraging email marketing every day, right? So number two is you're already reaching an engaged audience, right? So if they saw you on social media, if they saw you in person, or if they saw you on somebody else's platform, right? And they happen to join your email list, okay? That audience is already warm. So you got your hot audience, you got your warm traffic, and you got your cold traffic. Okay, so normally, most of the time when somebody is opting into receiving emails from you, which I call permission marketing, right? Teresa, she has, yes, I call permission marketing, right? People are giving you permission to send them content, and I love that. I spend more time engaging with my email list than, than posting on social media, right? And y'all know, I forgot to mention this, if you're new to following me, and make sure you're liking and following the page, make sure you hit that um, hit, give me some hearts and stuff so I can make sure to send you an invite to my page and what have you. But most of you guys know, okay, that when you're sending out more emails, you're, you're getting more results, you're making more money. I mean, it's just, that's the way it works. And I even say, even during my list building masterclass, when I do it live, I even tell you guys, this is so freaking important. I said, you know, when you're out there communicating with your email list, these people already know you. They already say, you know what? I I, I want to get more content from you. I want to really get offline. I want to I want to still be connected to you even when I'm not on Facebook, even when I'm not on Instagram, even when I'm not on LinkedIn or Clubhouse. And I think that's amazing. So the third benefit, this third secret benefit to uh, email marketing is you're delivering targeted messages. So one of the things I teach my clients inside of my email for tribe is I teach them about behavioral marketing. Last week, we I did a training on my new cart abandonment email segmentation that I had my I gave um, my emailpreneur tribe clients 
access to. And basically what that does is when my clients are scheduling out their emails, and if there's an email that has an offer in it or a CTA in it, and someone clicks on that link, they're now going to get another series of emails, getting them retargeting them back to their offer. Now, I'll, I like to train this so much, and I do this training inside of my uh, membership several times a year, is because 90% of the time, over 90% of the time, when somebody lands on your website, when somebody lands on your offer, your sales page, your landing page, what have you, and they don't purchase or they don't take action, it does not necessarily mean that they don't want what it is you have to offer. So for those of you who are new to follow me, like I was about to say, I'm a mother of five kids. There's times where I get easily distracted. Uh, there's times, even before I came on here, I, went, I meant to go live an hour ago, but, you know, I had to, um, you know, help the kids with some stuff. But I look at things a lot of times and then something will draw my attention away from it. But if you don't already have a system on the back end that's going to take me right back to your offer, I'm going to forget about you. I'm just going to forget. Because if it's not a high priority like food, household uh, uh, needs and all that stuff, you know, it's not a top top priority. So you're making, ladies, what you are offering a top priority, okay, when you are retargeting them back to your offer, okay? So let me know if y'all have questions on that. So the next thing is, wait, one, two, three, four. Fourth secret benefit is you're going to be able to drive revenue, okay? You're going to be able to drive revenue. Uh, business is a numbers game, and I really want to take my time in saying this. Most of us feel that when we're looking at other people, right, who are further ahead in business than we are, we think that they're lucky. We assume they got some special magic, right? Really, that's not the case. It's, it's a numbers game. Okay, so if you're setting goals and you're making goals and you're doing vision casting in your business and stuff like that, you got to understand, you got to say, how many people am I inviting to the party? How many people that I'm bringing to me? Last night I was talking to my clients and I said, you have to have a time during the day where you are constantly growing, where you're getting your businesses in front of people who have never met you before or have never came across you before. That is so vital. Okay, because if you want to drive revenue to your business, you got to get more people knowing about your business. Amen. You got to get more people knowing about your business. So the next thing is easy to get started. I, I don't want to hear y'all tell me that you don't have time to start email marketing because it's so easy to get started sending emails. It is so simple. And what I love about it is I find that sending emails is way more better than I get more bigger results than sending a post because I know what who read it. I know who opened it. I know who clicked on my call to action. I also know where your your fingers or your or your um, mouse is hovering over, especially in my system, where I can tell. Oh, I noticed they're clicking my image, so I need to make sure that I have a hyperlink to my images that I put in my email. Oh, I noticed that they're clicking my button, so I need to make sure I have more buttons in my copy. Are y'all getting me so far? That's so important. So next thing is, it's easy to measure. Okay, you it, fitting in email marketing into your business plan is it's vital because now you're able to measure your success. If you wanted to start doing events, let's say you want to start a retreat in 2023, or you want to start doing meet and greets or masterminds, right? You're going to send out that information. You're going to say, hey, what are the top places you guys would love to do a meet and greet, a mastermind, a retreat, a uh, event, right? And your, your list is able to talk back to you. Now you're able to really know where you need to invest your money in, all right? So the next thing is easy to share. Okay, there's, I want to show y'all a story real quick about Facebook. Okay, so I'm on live on Facebook, so I might as well um, use Facebook as a reference. Don't y'all know, y'all can look this up, Facebook in its first year, in its first year, y'all, somebody type in first year, in Facebook's first year, they have got, oh, have gotten over 500 new open accounts, all from referring. So when you opened your Facebook account for the very first time, I didn't, I, probably opened mine over 10 years ago and I can still remember to this day is that when I started you know setting up my account it said um do you also want to invite your contacts okay and if you say yes if you if you had it on your cell phone or if you had if your google account was 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 open like say you were signed in it will pull up all the people on your contact list and you will say yes and what will facebook do facebook would then Send them emails and say, hey, open up a Facebook account. There's a new platform called Facebook. Go and check it out. 
So when MySpace was around, y'all, who had MySpace? Type in, type in I if you had MySpace. I remember I had MySpace. It wasn't a cute, it wasn't a, a nice profile. It's just something I made years and years ago. But MySpace wasn't doing that. So Facebook was like, how are we going to explode way more than MySpace to the point where people are not even going to be thinking about being on MySpace so much. They're going to come over here. So they leverage, right, that sharing system that's saying, hey, I have a girlfriend. Let me, I don't mind her knowing or, or being following me. It's all good. And they grew by over 500 members just in its first year. And if you look up the Google story, it's the same. If you look up the Yahoo, how they grew, it's the same exact path they took. Asking you, who else do you know who wants this information? Who else do you know who needs this, right? When you are building a brand or a business, right, and you want to get more people referring, more people checking it out, leverage your current client or customer community or current core audience, which is your email list, and ask them, do you know somebody who needs this, wants this, interested in this, wants to check this out, right? So the last one is you now you're able to reach a global audience, right? So one of the things that we have some clients doing is like Google ads and things like that, where no matter what platform their core audience is using, right, they're getting themselves in front of a global audience. So now you're building traffic from everywhere, from everywhere, right? Even for myself, I have clients that live in Spain. I have clients that live in uh, Australia, I mean, just all Alaska, all over the place, right? So it's very important, guys, that we really tap into all these benefits because these are the benefits that's going to really make you the money in your business that you need to definitely make. And you've got to get into it and you've got to tap into email marketing today. So what I'm going to do right now is, for those of you who are watching or review or viewing this um, live on your cell, on your computer, on your desktop, um, I'm going to pop the link here real quick because um, I have a training that I hosted a week ago, right, that's pre-recorded that I want y'all to definitely check out. It's called my List Building Masterclass. It's a free training, absolutely free training. And what it teaches you is teaches you my five-step process on how you can build a high-converting email list, Okay. So once you sign up and put in your information, there goes a link right there. And if you're watching this on your mobile device, you just click uh, click on the paperclip button, right? So when you uh, sign up in for to watch that training, you're also going to get an invite later on this week to the live training. Now, why should you attend the live training if you already have the recorded training? Is because on the live training, you're going to be able to ask questions. I'm going to be streaming it live and. In, you're going to be able to come on in the Zoom and ask questions uh, so that way, you know, we can get you some help when it comes to email marketing. So definitely head on over and go to that link, check it out, and then you also make a lookout for your um, for your the email and text for a training that I'm going to do later on this week. All right, y'all. So thank you guys so much for hopping on and watching. Um, I appreciate y'all for joining me. And as I always say, don't forget, get out there and dominate because it's time to design a life that you, in fact, deserve. Till next time, bye, guys.